In order to prevent growth inhibition or injury, brace work should not be attempted until a dog has reached a maturity point where their growth plates have closed and they have passed health clearances. Always consult with a veterinarian before beginning any form of weight-bearing brace work. Start with your dog directly in front of you in a proper sit position that evenly distributes their weight. Positioning is crucial with this behavior. The goal is to have a square sit with a lifted head, shoulders back, and a tight core. Yes. First, reward your dog for holding position while a hand comes towards them. Stay. Next, place your hand on the dog's shoulder blades, but not their neck. It needs to be below the collar and squarely on your dog's shoulders to prevent injury. Once a one hand hold is successful, you can move on to two hands. The dog's head should be up and leaning back into your hands. The trick is training the dog to go against the pressure instead of into it. Many dogs may move their body with the pressure where they step forward, lay down, or drop their head. To ensure they understand their whole body matters, there's a couple of tactics to try. Try making encouraging sounds or a watch me cue to lift the dog's head. Where reinforcements occur can also prevent head drops or steps forward. Once position is proper, add tiny amounts of resistance. Then, longer durations with resistance can be added. Next, a verbal cue can be added to cue the resistance. In some cases, multiple positions may be needed to properly brace. For this example, a sit brace was for pulling oneself up, and then a stand brace was added for stability while standing up. Stand. The training process is then repeated for the stand behavior. Good. Good boy. Sit. Yes. Stand. Good. Good boy. These two brace behaviors can then be chained together. Each behavior is separately reinforced at first Good job. and eventually can be combined as the completed chain. Good, good. Stand. Good. 